Majesties, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Barrio Bayá in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And a former winner of this award, double Olympic gold medalist Shirley Robertson, will take us into the world of these top sailors. With us here, Shirley, in San Juan, and you know this very well. You've won this award yourself. You know what it's like to sit at the dinner wondering if it will be you. Well, it was a while ago. Thank you for not mentioning the year. But being here tonight and speaking to some of the nominees, the nerves come flooding back. I was unable to eat my dinner. And when the moment that the envelope was open, I think I was unable to breathe. But it was a, a very special night in my life in Edinburgh, my home city, with my family there. And it was well, a just, night I'll never forget. Just to add to the tension tonight, we've turned the heat up a little bit. <laughs> Don't know if anyone's noticed that. So it's going to be a warm night, plenty of tension. There are four female nominees. They'll be feeling the pressure tonight. Let's meet them and see who they are. Starting off with Alexandra Rickham, third consecutive IFDS disabled world title. Anna Tanikla, she's won it before. ISAF Sailing World Cup match racing champion. That's what she did this year. Dee Kafari, three times round the world non-stop. No other woman has done that before. And Sarah Keita offering her PWA Women's Freestyle and Slalom World Champion. She's only 20 years old. One of those four will win tonight. There are five male nominations from three continents, five nations. This is who they are. Well, we'll start off with a man who can't stop winning. Ben Ace is going for his fourth Olympic gold, but he's nominated for match racing world champion. Nathan Uterich, 49er, undefeated in the uh, Olympic venue. Lorenzo Brazzani, well, he was nominated last year. Success in the Belgians, will he win it? And the Spanish duo, can they win for world sailing and 49er sailing? We said at the beginning, it's, it's extraordinary, the diversity that's... Uh, on show, being recognised, and you know we're all fans of sailing, aren't we? But what sport could offer the diversity? When we're talking about speed record holders, round the world sailors, all aiming for the same prize tonight. Well, we've seen all the nominees now. There's five male, four women. We are just moments away from announcing who are the 2011 ISAF Rolex. <laughs> Hello everybody, the time has come. To make the announcement, I'm delighted to welcome His Majesty King Constantine, who is joined by Colette Bennett, representing Rolex. of the 2011 ISAF Rolex World Sailor of the Year Award is Anna Thunacliff. Thank you. Um, I'm shaking. Um, wow. Uh, thank you very much um, for this award. It's, uh, it's a true honor. Um, congratulations to the nominees. You guys are fantastic and amazing sailors. Um, I really have to thank everybody that's been um, a part of the reason that we won this award, especially my team, the team of Molly Vandemore and Debbie Capozzi and Liz Bauer. Um, this is truly a team effort this year. Um, I couldn't have done it without them. So thank you, girls. You guys are awesome. 
Um, I also like to thank my family and my husband for being really supportive and all of my sponsors, especially Team McLaren for helping us through all of this. It's, um, like I said, truly amazing and thank you very much. So it's finally time. To make the presentation, I'm delighted to invite ISAF President Goran Pettersson to join Colette Bennett on the stage. Male winner of the 2011 ISAF Rolex World Sailor of the Year Award is Iker Martinez and Sabi Fernandez. They did send us a message from the boat, and this is that message sent from Telefonica in the Volvo Ocean Race. Hello, everyone. Here we are in Telefonica, sailing in the Atlantic, fighting very hard with. Buma, Camper and, and Grupama has been a little bit hard, but it's going all well. Uh, just to say thank you to everyone for the Sailor of the Year Award. We're very happy and we will celebrate here on board. Please be outstanding to celebrate the achievements of the winners and the nominees of the ISAF Rolex World Sailor of the Year Award. 